meant to do that. You both all right? No, Dennis. We've both got Eddie. We've both got Eddie. I mean, we've both got Eddie. That's that eight pay fees. What he's trying to say is that we've both got Eddie. We've both got Eddie. Both got what? Eddie. Oh, Curly. Pie face, didn't you get the letter? The Beano Town cold is so contagious that you must stay home. And you, dog? <coughs> Yes, you dog! You aren't allowed here. Pie face, curly dog, you must all leave the school grounds this instant. Yeah, I, I think I might be coming down with something. Inside. <sighs> quiet! Quiet, class, quiet! No more chattering, everyone! Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> Looks like quite a few pupils have the cold. Not I, Mrs. Creature. That's the... I'm perfectly well. Walter, didn't you get the letter? I don't have a cold, Mrs. Creature. I am 100% healthy. <laughs> Then, class, if James has 37 counters in his left hand and 92 counters in his right hand, how many hands does he have? Walter. Oh, let's jump into the shape of the people. See you, Rainbow. A good try, Walter. Next question. Dennis, what is the square root of a million times the square root of a billion? Uh, is it nine? Oh, hopeless, Dennis. Hopeless. <laughs> yeah, Dennis. <laughs> Walter, call me crazy, but I think you may be ill. I'm having your parents pick you up. No, Walter. This could be the best school day ever. <laughs> Just a dessert for my lunch, Bren. How much? Not many children in, so they're free today. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I'll only have 50 of them. Oh, no. Headmaster's orders. One dessert per child. But I'm the only... Strict instructions. Want your dessert, then? Uh, sure. Can I have a spoon? Yep. <laughs> Actually, forget the spoon. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, bonjour. I am the French exchange student, Pierre Le Bonbon. La dessert, please. All right, but you only get one. Merci. Hang on. Oh, guten hello. I am German exchange student, Fritz von Munich. A dessert, please and thank you. Uh, are there many kids in that lunch line? Oh, ja, ja. Why don't you take a look? <coughs> yeah, I knew it. You're not getting one over on me. Oh, may have overdone it on dessert. Come on, bowler. <laughs> Great, Batman, hit it. <laughs> At a boy, fielder, catch it. <laughs> Well done for getting him out, Dennis. Marvellous play. <sighs> Dennis, how come you're out already? Awful. Two laps round the field for you. <sighs> well, Dennis, poor Walter had to go home. Yes! Which means for the rest of the day, it's just you and me. No! Only kidding. Phew. Since all the other children have the cold, you're going to spend the rest of the day being taught by all the teachers in the school. At once. What? What's nine times ninety-nine? What's long and stiff? What is the meaning of life? What is this? Is oh, 
of the worst day ever, Nasha. Teachers, teachers everywhere. It's not fair. Why can't I catch a cold like everyone else? <gasps> Actually, I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the light. It grows faint. Is that you, Mother? This awful cold. It's so horrible. So painful. And so very, very real. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Dennis. Could you move away from the door? I have to pick up B. Mum, I have a cold. No, you want out of school, like when you said you had chicken pox. <laughs> or when you said you were pregnant. Or when you said your arm fell off. <laughs> Unless you really have a cold like your dad, don't waste my time. Dad has a cold? Yes. And apparently it's very infectious, so keep far, far away from him. Hmm. Hi, Dad! Dad. Oh, oh. Calm down, Dad. I'm here to look after you. Bacon sandwich? Oh, lovely, Dennis. How nice of you. Hmm. What's in this sandwich? Bacon, bread, tomato sauce... Oh! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Oops. Water? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Normal? Right, need a plan B. What is it Gran says? Hey, Dennis, you want to see me get a whole coconut into my mouth? Ow. No, not that. Keep out of the cold and wet or you will catch a cold, I bet. Now, watch me get this coconut into my mouth. <laughs> oh, what, what? Hmm. Ah! 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 Nasha. Nash, Nash, Nash! <laughs> what? I'm still fine? Oh, come on! <laughs> so, how will he be? Ah, he's fine. Nothing broken. Oh, are you sure? I definitely felt something snap. Maybe I should stay at home, rest the foot, get my strength back. No, you won't need to miss a day of school. <laughs> what? What kind of a doctor are you? Curly! Hey, Dennis! You OK? No, I'm not. Well, yes, I, I am. I... Oh, back to school. Great! Cos we're all going to the beach. What? Yeah, as everyone has just gotten over their colds, the teachers thought we should have a day out. Brilliant! I love school! <laughs> this is going to be the best day ever! Ah. Ah. Achoo! Oh, dear. The Beano Town cold. Best get you home. No, no, that sneeze was a fluke. <coughs> so was that one. <coughs> and that one. Mum, I'm well. <coughs> I feel great. <coughs> Honestly, Mum, I'm fine. I'm completely. <coughs> oh, Jenny. Yeah! <laughs>
frog. Fake puke, plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. <laughs> Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Oh, breadstick. Oh, oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. Along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine percent? <laughs> you are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir. Observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. <laughs> Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? We're running out of mash. Hmm. Sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. Uh, hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, that ball. A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake! No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Uh, Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <laughs> Half a ton of live lobsters? My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! There, Dennis. Please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket. <laughs> Full of sugar! Kids go hyper! Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper! Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this! <laughs> Get rid of this stuff! OK, see ya! Really, I didn't order any of those things! OK, I'm back! You get rid of it? Yeah! Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it! Cool! Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now, or else. <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then there's Mrs. Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Uh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean? Next! Great to have you back, Brenda.
Totally. Ah. <laughs> Chin up, Nasha. We'll buy you a new drum kit. This is exactly what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. Oh. <laughs> Just tell us what we can afford. <laughs> That's all we can afford? What are we gonna do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done! Paul? Never ending on and on and on and on. Never ending on and on and on. Oh, no. Hey, Mr. Mayor, this is where we sign up for Battle of the Bands. <laughs> Delish! Yes, thank goodness. <laughs> and there it is, boys. First prize. Ah, so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter. <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> Boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just filling the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we going to do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we got to do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> <laughs> Orders. Home. Now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild. Someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? <sighs> Homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. Just know some grown up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs. Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too. um. dead. More oh, biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <laughs> Mum, she'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> huh? Eh? 
Where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla ate them. All oh, right. Eh? Hey? Ah! 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 We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing. There are no other entrants. I'm cancelling the competition. Just please stop! So what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes, fine, all right, whatever. Just take the drums and go. Golly, we won something. Mother will be so proud. Pause off, boys. <laughs> this show ain't over. Meet the newest member of the Din Makers. Hello. He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion. There can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown-up human man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bino Town, and good night! This is going to be one epic walkover. OK, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry! No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my sad duty to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man. <laughs> Since the din makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not good. Play! If we can get them gorillas dancing again, we can stop this. <laughs> Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers, featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. A world away from the hurly burly of everyday life, I close my eyes. Ah. And when I open them, <laughs> we're on. 
the Beano Town Cup final, and we're almost from to the queue. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Golden Ticket is on course for a successful completion. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Four tickets for the cup final, please. Oh, sorry. Just sold me last tickets. What? We we'll do anything. Uh, uh, cut your lawn, polish your boots, shine your medals. Anything for those tickets. Oh, tempt me all you like, Sonny Jim. The Colonel will never buckle. Oh. <laughs> if you're trying to buy tickets, Walter, they've sold out. Oh, I'm not buying a ticket, Dennis. As chief reporter for the school paper, I get a press pass. <gasps> so all we need is a press pass like Walter's and we're in. Oh, this is a menace made in heaven. Oh, no tickets left, love, sorry. The match is a complete sellout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one press pass, please. There you go, the final press pass. Yeah, <laughs> press pass, please. You? Which paper do you write for? The Daily Menace. I've never heard of it. That's because it's uh, new and exclusive and only online. Well, this is the final press pass and it's mine. You can't both have the final press pass. You're right. The final press pass should go to a deserving home. Meaning? Meaning, uh, whoever gets the most readers by Saturday gets the final press pass into the match. Challenge accepted. May the best reporter win, Dennis. Sounds fair enough to me. <laughs> Bertie, hold the presses. I have a new lead story for this afternoon's edition. <laughs> Dennis the Menace, biggest loser in Beano Town. <laughs> Meet me in the treehouse in exactly 33 minutes and 22 seconds. We've got a newspaper to launch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Nasha. Dad's bottom has been given its own TV show. Dennis, I'm in your bedroom. Ah. Say hello to the Homework Spy 3000. The Homework what? This little B.U.T. will be keeping an eye on you at all times. Right, but... Uh, uh, no buts, Dennis. Take a seat. Six months' worth of homework to do, Dennis. And remember, if you're thinking of leaving your desk, the Homework Spy 3000 will be watching. Which means I'll be watching. Oh! We have to meet Curly and Pie Face in three minutes, Nasha. This calls for a top draw menace. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No more sneaking behind my back. <laughs> Pulling the wool over my eyes. <laughs> it's all about using your head. <laughs> Brilliant, Nasha. Time for some menacing genius. <laughs> Right, I reckon I've got 20 seconds. Let's get to work. Oh, no, it's on the blink. One state-of-the-art <laughs> website coming up. Great. So, ooh, ooh, with a fixed position navigation interface? Uh, sure. Ah, and some showy CCS coding? Why not? <laughs> oh, I know. And an intricately designed content management system that automatically generates astute SEO URLs to provide accurate metadata within a fully functional customized database? I don't know. Um, Paul can help you out, Curly. He's got a knack for computers. <laughs> okay. 
So now we've just got to post a story for people to read. But how will we know how many people are reading it? Well, when someone clicks on our website, it comes up as a hit on the screen. Exactly. And what do hits make? Press passes! <laughs> OK, let's make news. Right, Curly, bring in the bus. <sighs> Here goes. A world exclusive. <laughs> Double-decker bus found on moon! Our first big splash. How easy is this? Dennis! <gasps> oh, no. Mum! <laughs> A little something for you. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. Double dicker bus found on the moon? I can do better than that. Read all about it. Double decker bus on the moon disappears. Mm, here you go. Here's a shilling. One more happy reader. <gasps> oh. By Jove, he's right. There is no double decker bus on the moon. Wild animal in Beano Town Park. Wild animal captured. Treasure found in Beano Town. Three chocolate coins in school paper. Beano Town flooded. How I saved Beano Town from the floods. Read my amazing story. <laughs> Final reader figures are Walter's paper, 485. But Daily Menace has 486 hits! Ha ha! And today is Saturday, so. No school paper! Ha ha! Nice, 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 Walter just handed me this. It's a bit rubbish. <gasps> this puts the numbers exactly even. Walter gave me one specially for you, too. <sighs> See? <laughs> rubbish! <laughs> The press pass is mine, Dennis. <laughs> Soon I'll be shaking hands with Beano Town United's finest. So, Walter wants to shake hands, does he? Curly, I've just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> That's him! Get him! Oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Leave me alone! The Daily Menace Big Competition. Be the first to shake Walter's hand and win a year's free subscription. 500 extra hits. <laughs> 986 readers to Walter's 487. The press pass is ours. Congratulations. One press pass coming up. <laughs> That's my press pass. No, it's not. We won it fair and square. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I think it belongs to me. Huh? Oh. Angel face. Whoever has the biggest readership gets the press pass, yes? Have you read my magazine? <laughs> Dennis versus Walter. Skullduggery. Treachery. Trickery. Oh. And 5,000 readers. 5,000? <laughs> See you again. Or maybe not. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, what have you been up to, Dennis? <laughs> 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 Still want to see the match, Nasha? Nash, Nash! Angel Face, have I got a deal for you? Your press pass in exchange for the Parents Buy 3000. Stay ahead of prying mums and dads with this state of the art revolution. Uh, it's a deal. <laughs> Come on, United! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
if you are taking her pet pig to school? Of course I am! <laughs> ah, I see you've got yourself a new tank, Colonel. <laughs> Top secret hardware. I call him Monty. <laughs> Very hush-hush. Right. Uh, can I get a lift to school? Are you a Brigadier General? No. <laughs> Got any medals for tank driving? No. How old are you? Ten. Well, in that case, absolutely not. <laughs> and this medal was for the most creative breakfast rations. Boot leather and fried eggs. <laughs> Lovely. It was a raging success. Bravo, Colonel. Inspirational. I doubt your show and tell guest will be as invigorating as mine. Walter, prepare to be invigorated. Holly <laughs> <laughs> is here to show us <laughs> how to make lessons really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody panic! Oh, <laughs> right, that is the best show! <laughs> and smell ever! <laughs> Get this pig out of here! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> no! No! I think he likes you, miss! Shocking lack of discipline amongst the infantry, Miss Creature. I think Dennis might benefit from a bit of army discipline, Colonel. Would you take his detention this afternoon? Hmm. Emergency mission accepted, Mrs. C. Boot camp drills for Dennis. Today at 1500 hours. Turn hot! Yikes! I'd rather eat boot leather. No, Curly, this could be the best detention ever. Will I get to ride in the new tank, Colonel? Absolutely not. Drive it, Dennis! <laughs> that stopped the trumpet torture. Hmm. For excellence in bugling. Attention, you recruits. This is boot camp. Note the list of banned items. Contraband. Men, here is today's top secret hush hush itinerary. Uh, um, any of these involve riding in the tank? Absolutely not. <laughs> First order of the day: platoon drilling. Come on, fall in. I thought a drill was a march. <laughs> what a ridiculous idea. This platoon drills for turnips. For what? <laughs> ah, turnip! Pull! <laughs> Superb tactical engineering, Private Nasher. Deserves a medal. Hmm. Raw turnip. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Psst, Dennis. Huh? Oh, am I glad to see you? Well, almost see you. Fraternizing with the foliage is forbidden. Now, Corporal Tinkle will be training you in elf defense whilst I scout for supplies. Hmm. Supplies? What's he up to now? I heard them tell the gnome. He's out of milk. Talking to a garden gnome? That's just weird. Isn't it, Paul? <laughs> Finally! Time to get a closer look at that tank. Is that 
back, my! Yes! Don't worry, Colonel! We won't let Monty out of our sight! Sergeant, there is a tank in my lake. Here are, oh, oh, there's all of them. Dennis? Yes, Dennis is here. Dennis the Menace, you have played one too many pranks. Parky Balls and I have had it up to here. Uh, this wasn't technically a prank, was it, Curly? Uh-uh, more of an unplanned bonus surprise. <laughs> Park regulations state, no tanks allowed in the lake. This tank is now property of Beano Town Park. What is the Colonel's? So I was Nasher driving the tank, eh, Dennis? We know all your little tricks. Parky Bulls and I are putting our respective foot, I mean feet, down. <laughs> No more, Mr. Nice Guys. Uh-uh. No more. Unauthorized tank in Lake to be immediately confiscated by order of... Oh. Well, what will I tell the Colonel? Latest enemy intel? Monty will be taken from crime scene at the park at 0800 hours to be held at disposal location, the junkyard. The aforementioned vehicle is to be reduced, melted down, into non-combative components. Sardine cans. By order of Sergeant Slipper and Parky Bowles, the enemy. <laughs> oh well, accidents happen. Oh, phew, it took that well. <laughs> oh, menaces, we have to undo a terrible injustice and help the Colonel in his hour of need. Plus, if we free the tank, he'll have to let us ride in it. Exactly, Curly. Well put. Menaces, it's time to unleash Operation Thank You Very Much. Ammunition, mushy peas and cold custard supplies packed and stacked. Artillery, polished, primed and ready to pie. Sir, secret weapon on standby. Nash, nash. Oh, thank you. Operation Thank You Very Much needs you, Colonel. <laughs> Its success depends on a first-class tank commander, sir. <laughs> it does. And if we succeed, we all get to ride in the tank. Well, I... Agreed! OK, menaces, let's go get us a tank. Uh, this time, we won't be menaced. This time, we stand united against pranking, mischief and mayhem. Doom's ready to charge. Uh... Let's keep them in a support role, Colonel. What do you say we start with the artillery? Very well. Very well. Really? <laughs> the enemy is splattered. Charge! <laughs> Time to unleash our secret weapon. Get away from me! Press the red button, Dennis! Please don't fire any more cold peas or cold custard. Thank you very much. Parky balls. <laughs> uh, oh, um, tank to be released immediately by order of Sergeant Slipper. Colonel, it's time to take Monty back to base. Hmm. Dennis, this medal is for completing boot camp <laughs> with flying colours. Well deserved. Brigadier General? That can only mean one thing, Colonel. Absolutely. Who wants to go for a ride? What's this green button for? <laughs> Resident, find out! <laughs> Honestly, all this fuss 
us over something so simple. Well, you do keep making me take baths. <laughs> At least the worst's over. Oh, no, it isn't. Nash, 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 nash. Nash, nash, nash. Nash, 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 nash
Belchie underfoot, we kick off with a magic, muddy manoeuvre. <laughs> it's on the head and all over his head. <laughs> now the dogged defender with his dynamite right foot. Uh, feet. Go on, Nasher. <laughs> 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 Need some food. Hungry, Nasha? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Fish, what is going on with you? You don't think he's ill, do you? Well, if he is, you'd never know it. He even smells nice. He's been acting weird ever since he was in Claudius's bath. It's like he's turning into a C A T. Yeah. A what? A cat pie face. Oh. Yeah. I promise I'll never let Mum wash you with the sprouts again, Paul. Ah, young Dennis, your hairy hound has been at my flower beds. <laughs> huh? Should we take him to the vet? Can't. After Nash's last checkup, the vet emigrated to Africa to give fillings to lions. Hmm, I've got an idea. Nash, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Nash. Nash. Reflexes are okay. <laughs> Are you guys are okay. Huh? 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 Yeah. 